everyone and welcome to a new video. Today you join me for a comparison. We are going to be putting my M3 against a 435D. You might be wondering, oh that's a stupid comparison, but you might be wrong. In paper these cars are quite similar, um, or they're quite comparable actually. My car's got 343 horsepower, it's a petrol engine, I've got 365 newton meters, and I weigh around 1,500 kilos. The 435D weighs more than 400 kilos extra over this car, but it's got an advantage. It's got nearly twice as much torque as this car. It's got 630 newton meters. It's got less horsepower, yes, it's got 313 horsepower, but it's also got a big advantage, which is its automatic gearbox. It's got an eight-speed automatic gearbox, which is quite fast, it's made by ZF, it's not a dual clutch, it's a torque converter gearbox, but nonetheless it's very very fast. It's also got another trick up its sleeve which is 12 or 14 years younger than this car. So along the way, during the ownership process of this car, this car probably has lost horsepower, whereas that car is much much younger. So in terms of power to weight ratio, it's around the same thing. Oh, and there's another big difference. The 435D is four-wheel drive, whereas this car is only two-wheel drive. And as you know, these cars sometimes they have traction issues, especially while getting off the line, whereas that car has got launch control and it's gonna take off. Zero to 60, zero to 100 times are quoted around more or less the same, so around five seconds for both cars. So this is going to be quite interesting. We're also going to be doing uh, 30 to 150 or 180, we haven't decided yet, but this should be quite an interesting video. We are going to be doing this in the Autobahn, so don't worry, there are no speed limits there, and we're going to keep it as safe as possible. Both cars are completely stock, except for mine, which doesn't have any cans. Uh, the previous owner, he removed the catalytic converters off this car and from what I've heard, you have less power down low, a little bit less or less response. So I don't know how that's going to play out during the head-to-head, the -head, but we will eventually see. I'm now headed to the place where we're going to be doing this comparison, so I'll catch you when I get there. And now with my tail between my legs, we are going to do a 50 to 150. Let's see how the M3 does if we remove the, the launch of the equation. Now it's going to be strictly a matter of elasticity. So let's see how, how this plays out. Oh, lovely. I'm, I'm, on my, I'm, on, I'm on reserve fuel. That's good. That means I'm lighter. Okay, doing 50. And they get side by side. No! Now I got him! But there's not much in it. And 180. Now I was able to get the M3 
to be faster than a diesel. Oh my god, that, that was wonderful. But that 435D, that really pulled. I mean, for a diesel, that's that's great. And I mean, that's the power of evolution and the fact that it's got 630 Newton meters. That was amazing. We're going to do a second pull to see if the if the results stay the same, or if the M, or if the 435D uh, redeems itself, but I don't think so. When this car is moving, it's quite quick. That car is also very quick, but I mean, this is an M3, right? No, not really. But let's see what happens now. And in the last run, uh, the 435D it wasn't on the right gear, so it was on the wrong gear. Try to do it this again. And it pulls, but the 435D is right behind me. Right behind me. Yeah, that car pulls. Yeah, 200. 200 potatoes. M3 took this one again. Um, it was a, quite a close call, actually. The um, that that 435D really pulls. It's got a lot, a lot of torque, and it doesn't have tw 12 years on top of its engine. Um, this car has been well maintained, but I mean, sometimes the the weight the weight of its age is taking its toll. So, guys, that was it for this video. As I had imagined, the difference wasn't much between the M3 and the 435D. Uh, despite being a cabrio and weighing 1,900 kilos, um, it's almost, I think, more or less 400 kilo difference. It's got 630. It's got 630 newton meters versus the 365 of the M3. That plays a huge part. On how the on how the cars perform. This car has got more power, but the 435D has still got 313 horsepower, so that makes it no slouch. Launching the cars, the the M3 had no chance whatsoever. Um, up to one 100, 120, I, I was always behind him. And if if I had a if I had budget for a runway or something like that. Uh, I would have probably caught him. Um, there's also another thing because, and I'm going to start with my excuses now, of course. This car, it, its tires, they're no longer good. Um, my tires are getting bald. I don't know why. Have I really have no clue why they're getting bald. But they are getting bold, so traction on uh, traction while launching the car wasn't the best. Doing the pulls from 50, 60 to 100, 80, 200 more or less, always on the autobahn, of course. Um, this car always came ahead. Despite that, the uh, the 435D was always behind me, right behind me. I wasn't really able to create much of a difference, much of a gap between me and him, which I mean. After a certain speed, I would have gained more distance, of course, but the elasticity of the 435D is quite impressive. This is an M3 after all. I know that it's an M3, it's a quite an old M3, but considering the weight difference and uh, the power advantage for this car and the torque advantage for the 435D, it was quite close. They are quite evenly matched. Um, I also want to give a special thank you to the owner of that car for bringing the car to the channel and we're probably going to get an M4 quite soon to the channel as well to do exactly the same exer exercise. Um, if you have any other ideas that you would like us to try out, feel free to, to let me know on the comments below. And as always, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this video 
and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.